Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft has updated its known issues health dashboard page to let us know that the Windows 11 media creation tool that was released on the 29th of September this year might not work as expected when used on Windows 10 devices and Microsoft says the media creation tool might close unexpectedly displaying no error message. Now, if I head to my download location where I downloaded the tool for the purpose of this video, the version and build that is playing up is 26100.6584, which this one is exactly the same as. And if I double click that, nothing happens. It closes unexpectedly with no error message according to Microsoft and as you can see. So that's the problem. Now, the media creation tool, just a quick recap, is used to create a bootable USB or DVD which can be utilized to perform a reinstall or clean install of Windows 11 on a new or used PC. Just take note though, this tool does not work on ARM64 processors. Now, this is a bit strange because Tomorrow is the so-called big day, the 14th of October, where Microsoft is ending support for Windows 10. So just a couple of days before the end of support of Windows 10, because Microsoft updated its known issues health dashboard page late on Friday in my part of the world. So just days before end of support, a tool that Microsoft most probably was wanting a lot of users to use to upgrade to Windows 11 is not working. So it's kind of not the best timing. Now Microsoft says that the workaround is that if we head back to the download Windows 11 website, the workaround Microsoft says is bootable media can be downloaded directly on the Microsoft site for Windows 11. And obviously you would just choose your ISO 64 devices and you would download that, follow the prompts, and you can then use that as a workaround according to Microsoft. But you don't have to go that route. You can use third-party tools like Rufus or Flyer OBE, which we are talking about on the channel. So there are some other options until Microsoft sorts the media creation tool out. And Microsoft says the next steps, it's working on a resolution for this issue. And it will be released in a future update to Windows 11 media creation tool. And obviously, if I get knowledge of that, I'll post and let you guys know. And the affected platforms are just Windows 10 version 22H2. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.